you are in Munich, you have a knowledge intensive service and someone calls you from Berlin, you take a plane and you go to Berlin. So it doesn't matter where you are, you need to be next to a plane, to an airport or to a train station to take a train or a plane to go to the other place. Yeah? So, it, it, so you don't are geographically rooted, so you don't contribute to the knowledge circulation in that, geor in that geographical unit. This has important policy implications. It means that if you want to make a, a region more knowledge intensive, it's medium tech technology that you really have to set in. Yeah, we, at least you have to set in. You have to prevent that from leaking away. Yeah, because that's part of your motor of your knowledge-based economy. Of course, it's important to have people in the services around but they don't contribute to your local economy, they contribute to your national economy. Yeah. High-tech intensive services counteract on this effect. And that be, that's because they need things like R&D labs. R&D labs are on the ground. Yeah. So once you are on the ground, you are not inclined to go to Singapore. Yeah. Because then people don't want to move and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the geography matters. As knowledge matters, all the three dimensions matter. Yeah. The geography. So you can easily understand those conclusions. Then for Hungary, we have additional conclusions. Because Hungary is an accession economy. So we have these three parts and no surplus at the national level in the case of Hungary. Yeah. We also had no surplus in the case of Germany. We only had surplus at the, in the, at the lender, in the state level. But in the case of Germany, that surplus was much larger, or that lack of surplus was smaller than in Hungary, the effect was enormous. Yeah. What has happened to Hungary? Hungary, when in 1990, it became independent, you can say, from the Soviet Union, it was too late to form a nation system. Yeah. I'm, I'm from a national system, you're from a national system, because Korea is a national system. After the Korean War, and so you, you built a national system. Yeah, and, and the Netherlands is an old national system. But when Hungary entered the scene in 1990, there was the European Union. So the western part of the country jumped to the European Union. They only wanted German companies and Austrian companies to come in and to help out. Yeah, and the western part just did that. And the center of the country, the metropolitan area, Budapest, is a very lively and beautiful city, became related to Vienna as, another, as an alternative for service sector and for everything around, and the eastern part didn't manage to make the transition yet. So, what, what it means is that in a certain sense the Hungarians have lost control of their national system of innovation. Perhaps you shouldn't say that there's a national system of innovation in the case of Hungary. Once we did that, it's with Balas Lengyal from Budapest, and the paper is forthcoming in regional studies, and it is also available on my website if you want to see it. Once we did it, and we presented this at the Triple Helium Conference, there was someone else giving a lecture on Estonia, but he didn't have beautiful data, otherwise I would have done the same exercise with him. He said, we cannot find a national innovation system. And we knew the answer, Bottles and I, because the Finns and the Swedes had moved in. <laughs> they had taken over the country. Yeah? Yeah. So, the European Union, of course, is now an enormous power in itself. And so, new accession countries run the risk of losing their national innovation system and being integrated in. And that may be an advantage in the long run, because they are already a European, while we are still national. Okay. So, my, my, my general conclusion, and I'll start rounding off. The triple helix arrangements are necessary but not sufficient conditions for triple helix dynamics. Yeah, that has to be. So you can have beautiful university industry government relations, but you cannot sustain them if nothing is happening. Yeah. Yeah. It remains an empirical question what can be considered as a system of innovations. That has to be tested whether it's a regional system of innovation. This is all. If you specify a system of innovation, that's a hypothesis. And you need observations in order to test whether, and the triple helix provides you with a model to test whether a system is a system of innovations. Okay. 
so, the, so this is more against people who are really saying, yeah, there's many of them in, the, in our community, there is a regional innovation system, we should stimulate that. No, it's perspective, it's a hypothesis. Yeah, so you can take a regional perspective and test the hypothesis, how is the region doing it? But you cannot, you shouldn't make the assumption that there is a regional innovation system, that you should stimulate it, that there is a national innovation system. This all has to be studied and questioned, and in some cases there is, and in other cases there is not. And the measurement can inform us about the relevance of systems of innovation. I think that finishes my presentation. And there's one more slide, but that's a surprise for later. Okay, uh, after the discussion. <laughs> Showed that Canada is, is very different because Canada, I already mentioned, it, is neighboring to the United States. So you get this foreign relations is so overwhelming in there already from 1980. Yeah, so you get no change. And then how do you expect the post globalization period? Because you mentioned like the, now that we are living the globalization period, right? Yeah. So what the post globalization period? How yeah. do you expect the, you know, Yes, in, in terms of diagrammatic way, in terms of people have yeah, the kind of future. The prediction is about the future is very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the forecasting the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree that uh, it, something has changed in 2008 because of the crisis. Yeah. And, and now people are calling for more state intervention. Yeah, uh, Particularly in the banking sector and Sarkozy wants to really make a state intervention and Obama is also more state interventionist oriented than previous candidate, previous uh, uh, I'm not sure that it really matters that much. 
because these forces are so globalized, I'm not sure that, that national systems can, at least in Europe, I don't expect it to make that much of a difference because we are so much open economies. But if, if Europe would fall apart, then the things would change. Which can happen easily. Greece and Portugal have to leave Europe. Yeah. Or on the other hand, Germany has to leave Europe. <coughs> and things will change dramatically. And, and national systems will probably become more, more important again. Yeah, because we have still these national languages. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, in your model, like uh, Triplehelix model, yeah. uh, what happens if there are some intervening very strong factor, like uh, technological breakthroughs in some time, like uh, uh, 1990s, uh, email was introduced in 1990s, and now internet is very popular, and now we have Skype, which maybe is, is very easy to collaborate each other, yeah. right, worldwide. So, uh, is, is there any way or any expressions in your uh, yeah, it, model? It, or? Yeah, that's not typical Helix type of work, but we, we have done a lot of international collaboration, yeah, which has to do with the internet, uh, because, yeah. because international so collaboration is, yeah. is internet. The technology is there. Right? The technology is there. Yeah. And also the cheap air tickets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very important. Yeah, you have iPhones and exactly, and people can easily move. Yeah, because uh, of, and that has it's completely independent de development because the, the the airfares went down because of the mass tourism, particularly in Western in Western Europe and, and and the United States. I don't know how it is in Asia. We have this mass tourism, so airfares. It's it's very cheap for me to go to Madrid. Yeah, ten dollars or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, usually have seats left. Yeah. 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 So and to work with someone in Madrid and I uh, and he, and we have a problem. I, I take a flight in the morning. I spend one night and I come the next day back to Amsterdam. So it's that easy. And what has gone dramatically up is international collaboration mm -hmm. over within the and we don't. I, I study science with scientific communication and I assume that also in industry and. In government international collaboration has gone dramatically up. What it has led to in in Western Europe area is what I depicted as science land. Yeah? So a center of the world which is related, very strongly related, yeah, 14 countries, yeah, and the other countries more dependent in the dependency relation. So I'm not so optimistic about those things. If you ask about Technological breakthroughs like nanotechnology. Uh, we have studied that extensively, and I'll show some of that tomorrow in my presentation about, uh, about journal indicators because we use journal relations for that. The emergence of new journal sets like communication studies, which I showed yesterday, but tomorrow I will show that for nanotechnology. Then you see that the nanotechnology breakthroughs are somewhat before the policy making. And so the policy making is reflexive on what's happening in the in the in the nanotechnology. I think we underestimate the autonomy of the system all the time. Yeah. It happens and then we reflect upon it and we try to develop policies. Yeah, and, the, and some countries are more aware of that than other countries. The Japanese I have a very sophisticated apparatus for monitoring everything which is happening in the system um, but they are not always successful in it. So in, yes. your, in your webs, yeah. the technological breakthroughs or the events are already integrated? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's a matter of 